Good morning, boys and girls. Um, it is Monday, April 27th, and we're just coming back from our um, April break. I hope you guys had a wonderful April break. Let me tell you a little bit about mine. So, um, in relation to why do animals play, Jovi, Sarah, myself, and of course Jude um, have been missing chickens. We had chickens a few years ago. Um, and semi recently, we decided we were going to get chickens again because we have a chicken coop in the backyard. So we have been reading all up on chickens, fresh eggs, of course. Um, and we um, have been redoing, repainting, and getting our chicken coop ready. Speaking of animals, and here they are in the backyard. Here's our chicken coop, and we have four uh, chicks. They're very big already. Um, and that's what we did pretty much over break. We did a bunch of stuff around the yard, including. I'm getting the chicken coop all nice and painted and ready for our chickens so that we have eggs. So speaking of animals, um, this is a nice segue into today's reading and writing. So before break, you've read this. So you should have a little bit of familiar familiarity, can't say that right now, <laughs> um, with this piece. Um, and we're going to be answering the question, why do animals play? Well, let's add a question mark to that, shouldn't we? Okay. So, reminder. Two things. First off, you don't have, um, you might not have, you might be able to print this out, you might not have uh, this right in front of you like what I have here. So, the one, two, three. That's okay. Um, I do encourage you to write this down on, on paper if you can, and then hold it up and take a picture when you're all done. Make sure that you write the prompt at the top. You can even go ahead and write your topic sentence on your plan. I encourage that as well. So let's do our topical, topic sentence, and we'll write that after we read and review the article. And then your, of course, three bullet points. And I would also say leave us some space in between so that we can add some bullets, some supporting details to each detail for each piece of evidence. So let's go ahead and let's reread Why Do Animals Play? Um, uh, let's reread our article and answer the question, Why Do Animals Play? <coughs> Okay, so remember when you're reading, you're starting at the very top, our blurb up here. Let's see if Google um, Chromecast fixed our highlighting feature. Last time I checked, they didn't. No, nope. fail on Chromecast. Okay, let's go ahead and let's get started. So animals need to play just like humans. Through play, both humans and animals can learn about dangers in our world. I like that. I definitely um, have read this many, many times, but I like this. Uh, bit right up here. I think this is something I probably want to put into my my writing. All right. In fact, can we? You know what? Let's just do. Um, let's reopen this so that we can highlight together. <clears throat> Okay, all right. So <clears throat> through play, both animals and, and humans and animals can learn about the dangers of the world. Like I said, I kind of like that bit. I might want to highlight that because um, I might want that in my topic sentence. Let's go ahead and let's start with paragraph one. Yeah, get out of there. Puppies love to run and tumble. They chase each other around the yard. They wrestle and they nip at each other gently. A kitten will pounce on a toy mouse or leap high for a piece of yarn. But why do animals play? <clears throat> For the same reason, you play, because it's fun. But there's more to play than just fun. For animals in the wild, play is important for their very survival. Young animals have to learn about their world. They have to exercise their muscles and practice all the skills they need to be successful at adults. So I'm going to pause here. Um, a lot of times we kind of pause at the end or we go back. I like this piece of evidence in here. There's some nice stuff in here. I'm going to highlight one while we're talking, and then I want you to highlight the other two on your own. So, um, young animals have to learn about their world. They have to exercise their muscles and practice the skills to be successful adults. I like this right here. I'm going to highlight this bit because I'm thinking this might be something important I want to come back to later because it's talking about the reasons they want to play. I might even want to put that in my topic sentence, um, getting them ready for adulthood. Let's continue reading. Again, you should be marking the text up as you read the most important details that you want to highlight. Paragraph three. <clears throat> Sometimes a young deer will leap and frolic. With each twisting, twirling dance, the fawn's legs are getting stronger. It is learning how to run fast and zigzag to confuse predators. That will keep it safe when it's time to leave its mother's side. 
While deer have to learn to escape from predators, young lion cubs must learn how to hunt. When a cub is little, it stalks its brother or sister. It will slink across on crouched legs, and when the moment seems right, the cub pounces. The other cub bats eh, with its paws and wiggles free. <clears throat> The cub keeps their the, sorry. The cubs keep their claws in, though, and their bites are gentle. The cubs are not trying to hurt each other. They are playing at being great hunters. This is practice for the real thing. He knows how to do that all the time. Wolves live in family groups called packs. When the pups are grown up, they will hunt together and watch out for each other. So they must learn to communicate. Paragraph seven. A wolf pup signals another pup. <clears throat> that she wants to play. <coughs> Excuse me. She stretches out her front legs and bows. She wiggles her tail, and as they play, both pups hold their mouths slightly open. That's how they tell each other, yes, we are still playing. Much like human children, young dolphins like to play with toys. Wild dolphins are very curious. They explore their world looking for interesting items. A piece of seaweed might inspire a game. They frisky, the frisky calves will chase one another, passing the seaweed from snout to flipper to tail. When most young adult, sorry, <clears throat> when most young animals wrestle, race, or chase, it's not about winning. Each youngster is building its strength and skills, and they are learning to cooperate. If one youngster plays too rough, the others will let him know that they are unhappy with his behavior. Even when everyone cooperates, they can get dangerous. But animals play anyway. Young mountain goats live all their lives on steep slopes. <clears throat> The kids bump each other and butt heads in fun. <clears throat> if they're not careful, kids can fall and hurt their legs or even break their bones. When they play, the young adults learn to keep their footing no matter what might happen. Groups of young vervet monkeys sometimes sneak away from the adults in their family. All wrapped up in their games, the little ones may not notice when the danger is near. So the adult monkey will go looking for the straying youngsters. The adult will let out a warning. The vet monkey equals a monkey with a black face. Paragraph 12. Watch out. Be careful. You heard parents or teachers say these things when you play. Animals have to learn about the dangers in their world, too. Playing helps them learn. Playing helps them get along. Playing helps them, makes them strong and confident. Okay, guys and girls, I want you to go back to your prompt right now, and I want you to go highlight some evidence in your prompt or sorry, in your passage. <laughs> and then I want you to go um, one at a time, back and forth. So highlight your first detail, put it in. Highlight your second detail, put it in. Highlight your third detail, put it in. And then let's go and let's talk about some of these details. <clears throat> Whoops. Wrong one. So I'm going to give you about one more minute by yourself, and then um, we'll move on. <coughs> Okay, let's move on. If you're not done, just pause the video and you can unpause it when uh, you need to move on. So remember how I said this first bit in uh, the blurb and paragraph two, I really liked because of our prompt. Our prompt was, why do animals play? And right here from the get go, um, this is a good kind of a framing piece where we can use this as a topic sentence and frame um, what we need to frame and then go right into our details. Young animals have to learn about their world. They have to exercise their muscles and practice all the skills they will need to become adults. So I think I want to be include something about being adults in my writing passage. So I'm going to say um, young animals learn, or sorry, let's just say uh, play in order to learn how to be, um, what, did it work? what did it actually say in the, I'm thinking successful adults, successful adults. Okay, that's what I was thinking as well. I'm going to put that in my successful adults. So my topic sentence, young animals play in order to learn how to become Let's say become, become successful adults. <clears throat> Again, I'm just using stuff I found in the text 
So then I can now frame my passage and I can give examples here of different animals. So let's go ahead and let's find one of the animals that I like. Again, this is a piece where there's lots of examples and some of the examples um, are interchangeable, right? We always talk about finding the best example, but in this specific passage, we talk about deer, we talk about lion cubs, we talk about wolves, we talk about um, uh, mountain uh, goats, I believe. Um, did it? I can't remember the actual name. We talked about dolphins. So there's not necessarily a better animal here. So it's it's this is a passage where you can really um, branch out, and your should not look exactly like mine. Um, so let's go and let's talk about <clears throat> some of the animals. I'm going to actually start with. Um, I'm going to start and just kind of go in order here, and I'm going to start with deer. So a deer. Well, deer have to learn to escape from predators. Or let's actually start with. Um, yeah, let's start with deer. Sometimes a young deer will leap and frolic. Uh, with each twisting, twirling dance, the fawn's legs are getting stronger. It's learning how to run fast and zigzag and confuse predators. So I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight this bit right here. And in my plan, I'm simply going to write, um, let's go ahead, let's write <clears throat> frolic. Um, and what else was the exact wording of that? I want to, again, um, frolic. And let's do twist and uh, frolic and dance. Let's do frolic and dance as my first frolic and dancing deer. Now, <clears throat> in this bit, I'm going to talk about all the things the deer does, what frolic even means, um, how the deer dance, and the whole purpose behind that, whoops, um, is to confuse predators, is to escape from predators. So let's go ahead and let's add that in. So escape from predators. Escape from predators. Um, and you know what? Again, you don't have to write complete sentences here because we are simply making sure that we have an idea for when we go to write this piece on Tuesday. Um, I'm going to actually put uh, escape from predators equals um, deer survival. Uh, again, not a complete sentence, but I now know that when I stretch this out, the deer frolic, they're learning to jump, they're learning to, to uh, escape predators, their legs are getting stronger, and the whole reason behind this, right here. So they survive. So when they're old adult, older adults, they can escape from predators. Okay. <clears throat> let's go into our second detail here. Let's just go right in order. Um, so we talked about deer. I kind of like the, the lion cub bit. So I'm just going to go down to paragraph five. The cubs keep their uh, claw. Let's actually, let's back up to paragraph four because it doesn't start mid paragraph four. Uh, young lion cubs must learn how to hunt. <clears throat> Excuse me. When a cub is little, it stalks its brother or sister. So let's add, let's highlight this bit right here. And then the whole purpose behind that is it needs to feed itself, right? It needs to practice for the real thing. So I'm going to highlight that. And this is going to be my, third, my second detail. So I'm going to go ahead and write something about lion cubs, um, stalking, learning to hunt. So let's go ahead and let's add this in. So I'm going to say lion cubs learn to hunt. And then in my supporting detail, I'm going to pull right out from my passage here. Um, it's practice for the real thing, right? And so we can say... Uh, practice, uh, practice stalking and pouncing so they can hunt for food as adults. <clears throat> again, not a complete, let me make this a little bit bigger here. Not a complete sentence, but again, I'm just getting those details down. So this first pair uh, sentence tomorrow, we'll talk about lion cubs. Um, they're learning to hunt, and then we're going to add our supporting detail about how they actually do that. They they stalk their little brother or sister. They pounce. Cub pounces. Um, they keep their claws in. Maybe we want to add some of this in tomorrow. They keep their claws in so that they um, they know they're just playing, but in real life they want it because they're hunting for food, right? All right, let's go into our third detail. Um, there is a little bit about the wolf pups here. However, my favorite animal growing up was actually dolphins. I wanted to be a biologist, a marine biologist, um, for a long time in my life. Let's go down and let's add something about the dolphin flying. So uh, let's go over here and let's reread this. <clears throat> uh, paragraph eight. Much like human children, young dolphins love to play with toys. So I kind of like this bit. This is... Um, dolphins like to play with toys. I'm going to highlight that. While dolphins are very curious, they explore their world looking for interesting items. A piece of seaweed might inspire a game. This is kind of cool. Let's highlight that. The frisky calves will chase one another, passing the seaweed from snap to flipper to tail. Let's highlight this sentence too because it explains that seaweed. So let's talk about the toy bit. So I'm going to say something uh, along the lines of dolphins 
like to play with toys? Um, and then why, you know, what, how is this going to tie back to um, how they become successful adults? Well, we're going to talk about how uh, they um, it might inspire a game. The frisky cows will chase one another, play passing seaweed from snout to flipper to tail. Um, We can talk about how these are interesting items. We can talk about how they develop their body here um, as, you know, they're learning to use their snout, their flipper, and their tail. So let's say uh, they learn to search for items um, and use their snout, flipper, and tails, okay? So tomorrow when we're actually going, we can talk about how um, this animal is playing right just like the other animals um it's playing with toys but it's also learning to use its body it's learning to find things so we can tie that back again to our topic sentence as we're writing okay boys and girls well um today at the end of your writing just like every single day i'm putting a secret code word in um that's only in the video so you have to watch the video to find the code word and our code word today word is chickens chickens so put that make sure you have that code word in your plan at the end. Let's highlight this in red. And that's the code word. If you have any questions, please reach out to myself or any of the other teachers. I'm very excited to talk to you all this week. And that's it for today, folks. Have a fantastic Monday.